Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Dave Shaves. It's time. We are saying goodbye to the beard for a short time and hello to a goatee. The reason is because every day when I shave, I lose more and more of the beard. And if you can see, it's barely existent at this point. So I think it's time to call a spade a spade and just shave it off and start from scratch. For those that know, I'm gonna be participating in No Shave November anyway. And by the end of this month, I was thinking about going down to a mustache. So I thought I would just go ahead and do this in phases. Start with the goatee now, then at the end of the month, go down to a mustache, and then in November, let the whole thing grow back. So, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start using very briefly my Hadiker trimmer. And I'm only gonna use that briefly just to take off the bulk of the sideburn area here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut a line using uh, either this trimmer or my precision trimmer that I have over there, just right here. And then the rest, I'm probably just gonna take off with my razor, which is going to be the 1930s Gillette New Long Comb. Uh, it's an open comb razor, so it should take off the beard nicely, truth be told. A lot of the times when I've taken off a bulk of the beard, it's been because of this guy anyway. So we're just gonna see what I can do without actually having to trim the whole thing first. So we'll see. I may use the trimmer to go around the goatee area afterwards just to shape it up nicely, but we'll see. We're gonna be using, uh, inside I have that paired with a feather blade. We're gonna be using for our shave cream, Pomal of Men. I'm using this because I really like it. It's very nice and slick, and with what's going on, I'm gonna need some slickness here. Gonna be lathering that up with my Perfecto Badger Hair Brush. And we're going to be finishing up with Nivea Men Sensitive Poche Balm. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start soaking this thing. So we're gonna run some hot water. This time I did it on purpose, didn't soak it, because I knew I had to take off the bulk here anyway. So I knew that would give us plenty of time to soak it. nice and hot, let that soak. And for those that are wondering, no, my wife doesn't know about this. She's at work, so I'm a very brave man or a very stupid man. We'll see. All right, um, so let's go ahead and put the comb on here just to, again, just to take off the bulk of the hair here. just to take care of the sideburn. enough. Hope you guys are seeing this okay. I don't know if you saw the other side. I think you can see this side pretty decently though. But even if you can't, it's only very briefly that we're doing this. As I said. So if you're not getting a good vantage point or a good view, don't worry too much about it. Okay. That is good enough. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to use this guy. I could switch out the head, but that's 
too much work for right now. So I'm just going to use my old Phillips Norelco trimmer just to help cut a line. Just to help cut a line. That is surprisingly even. Cool. All right. Like I said, the rest of this is going to be taken with the razor if everything goes as planned. So, um, and if not, then we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll have to pull the trimmer out again, but we'll see. We will see what we will see. Rinse the hair down the drain. All right. Splash some hot water on my face. And we'll see how this goes. My wife doesn't know about this, but we did talk about this. She knows that this was in the plans, um, or at least a thought in my head because of the fact the beard is non-existent. So it's something we actually spoke about just a couple days ago. So she's not gonna be super surprised, but if you're a man and you've ever shaved off your beard without telling your wife, which I've done before, it doesn't always go over so well does not always go over so well, especially when she doesn't like the way you look clean shaven. So luckily I'm not going completely clean shaven, so this shouldn't be quite so bad. I'll fill you in on the next video. All right. Put some water in there. All right, let's go ahead and get lathering and we will see, let's see what happens. I'm excited, I'm nervous. It's been a while since I've had a goatee. And every time I shave off any portion of the beard, I always get nervous. It's an anxiety thing. I love my beard, my beard's comforting. Although anxious, if I think I'm anxious now, you should have seen me uh, back in April when I shaved the whole damn thing off. I did a video of it. It's my first video I ever did. So go back to the beginning and watch that one if you haven't yet. Um, I don't know if my anxiety is going to come through or not because I didn't really... I wasn't well versed in talking to you guys about all this yet, so it was my first ever video. But anxiety was definitely there, and you can probably sense it. So, again, if you haven't yet, go ahead and watch that video. It's the video, not only that, it's not only the prequel to this, but it's also what got me started in my shave journey. Uh, as far as videos and stuff go. I've been wet shaving for much longer than that. But it's the video that got me started making videos. So, all right. I think we're good. I think we got a decent lather there. We'll see.
Okay. I think I got enough lather here. Let's see how it goes. We're gonna start here and then work my way up. I know a lot of people work this way. I'm gonna work up. Surprisingly well. Gonna be a few pieces left over. I'm not so much worried about that. That's not a bad first pass on half the face. Just from using this guy. That's a great razor. That's a good razor. I like that. That's the easiest. pretty damn quickly, but that's to be expected. When I shaved off my beard the first time, I used a trimmer first, and even then I didn't have this at the time. I only had my vintage, uh, really only had a couple razors at the time, and my vintage Gillette was what I had used, my vintage 1964 Gillette Slim Adjustable. And even that, I had to dial up the aggressiveness just to go over spots where the, where the trimmer had gone over too, and it still took a couple, couple passes. So it, um, this is actually working surprisingly well, and I think it's because it's the open comb. I know I'm not talking much about anything else, and that's because my all my efforts and concentration is on the beard. Once I get past the first part here, maybe I'll be able to talk about other things. But right now, for those that have ever shaved off a beard but try to keep some of it intact, you know how much concentration this can take. Especially when you love your beard as much as I do. Truth be told, this act right here of going down to a goatee is physically painful for me, if I'm being honest. Physically painful.
looks like I got a little tiny cut down at the bottom. Which is weird, because not anymore my beard was. That's strange. Must have just caught it. Weird. I'm actually gonna shape up the goatee a little bit more. But we'll do that, I think, after the other passes, or maybe during the other passes. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and do cross grain right now and go from there. All right, but now that that's done, I can relax a little bit. Take some of that off the trimmer, I think. Because there's some excess hair on the sides there. I might need to shape it up a bit with the trimmer, but we'll see. It's funny. I used to have a goatee all the time when I was in my teens. So this isn't really new, and even in my early 20s, like in my early, early 20s. And I've gone down to a goatee a lot since, but even now, it's still very nerve-wracking. I don't know why. But anyway, what about you guys? Any of you participating in No Shave November? Any of you shaving off your beard or a form of the beard? Beforehand. I'm doing it just because honestly, I'd like the break of shaving. We'll see. I might shave a little bit. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've let, uh, as my wife refers to it, the mountain man grow. I've done that. I actually did that for years. For a while, I'd say. I went, I think my longest stretch was almost two years without shaving. I trimmed it, but I did, my longest stretch was two years in between actually shaving anything. I do miss it, but I also love shaving. And thing is right now, this is my main focus. In my life, believe it or not. Shaving is not really going to stop. Getting some, oh yeah, got some nicks there. I'm not used to I'm not used to shaving my jawline. So that was bound to happen. Especially with this razor. This razor and this blade. I didn't even think about that. This is probably my most aggressive razor, and I used a a feather blade, so, which is arguably the sharpest blade on the market. How long are we going? We're at 20 minutes already. I was hoping to not make this as long as other videos, but, It is. Watch what you want, skip what you don't, fast forward to the end, whatever you want to do. 
No skin off my back. I could probably edit this, cut out parts, but it's not really what I do. I mean, I do edit. I trim off certain parts, but ordinarily I just let the whole thing go. As to me, that's how you get the most realistic view of me. And I went over my mole, which I've mentioned before is not good, but it looks like it's not so bad this time. For those that saw one of my earliest videos, I mentioned the worst cut I ever had was when I basically almost tore off this mole here. So that was, that was bad. That was a number of years ago. Um, it's not that bad right now. It's bleeding pretty bad, but it's not, not nearly as bad as it was that one time. Also, I know part of the reason I nicked it is because I didn't go against the grain first. I went across the grain on my second pass. We've discussed that doesn't work well on my neck typically. So, well, there's the bulk of that. That's gone and it did a hell of a job. I am gonna go ahead And just clean up the goatee line a little bit here. Okay, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Yeah, I like that. I just like leaving a little bit bulkier. I like a thicker goatee and a little wider. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So there we go. Let's go ahead and rinse off the face and the razor and do come back for some closing remarks and there we go.
And that was actually a surprisingly close shave. All right. I don't know, maybe I'll come at it with a trimmer. I don't know. I might not. I'll probably just leave it alone for right now. Use my nip stick, my neck stick. I definitely need it today. But considering everything, I think I did a pretty damn good job avoiding any major cuts. Especially since I haven't, I don't shave over this mole hardly at all. It's actually one of the main reasons I grew from a went from a goatee to a beard was this mole right here because I tend to, I used to tend to go over it, especially with cartridge razors. Yeah, that's not good. All right, let's go ahead and splash some Nivea Men sensitive Poche Bomb in my face. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the goatee. I actually like it. If I keep it bulky like this and thick, I think it looks good on me. Not a super change from the beard, but a little bit. All right. Well, if you're watching this video and you have not yet, please hit that subscribe button. You like this video, you like all my videos, hit that like button, give me a comment below. That said, of course, as always, stay happy. Stay healthy and keep shaving. I'll see you on the next video.